Welcome to the ProQuest database tutorial. ProQuest has many different databases, all within the same ProQuest interface, and thousands of publications available. The wide variety of subjects means that ProQuest is an excellent place to start your research. Let's start on the advanced search page. I'm going to search for articles about women in STEM careers otherwise known as science, technology, engineering, and math. I'll put the word women in the first box and STEM careers in the second box. ProQuest will and these together, meaning every article that I find will have the word women and STEM careers in it. Before we hit the search button, let's look at some of the things on the advanced search page that will help us do our searching. The full text box allows us to see articles that are entirely readable online this moment. This is important if your paper is maybe due tomorrow and you don't have articles yet. The second box here, peer reviewed. This box you check if you want scholarly journal articles. This might be important if your teacher has requested that your sources are peer reviewed or scholarly journal articles. The publication date box allows you to search by dates. There are many different options here. This could be important if you're in a discipline like nursing or computers where you need more recent articles or if you're researching a certain date in history. Let's go ahead and search and see what comes back. Wow, 123,000 articles is a lot of articles. You're probably going to want to narrow this down some. But let's look at the results here. For every article, ProQuest lists a title, which you can click on, an author, a journal title, where the journal is published, and a volume, issue, or date. With over 123,000 articles, though, we're going to want to narrow down our search a little bit. When we narrow it, the number of articles in the result goes down. So let's go ahead and say we want peer-reviewed articles, and we want articles in the last five years. ProQuest has narrowed our search down to 19,000 results, which is still a lot. But let's go ahead and look at the first article. When we click on the title, ProQuest opens up the article for us to look at. You can see here in the window that it is a PDF, and you can download it get a created citation, email the article to yourself, or save it in your Microsoft OneDrive. When I click on the All Options button, you can see here that you can download it onto your Microsoft OneDrive. And up here at the top, this is the link that you should use to copy to your clipboard for your Works Cited page. Do not use the address up in the browser window. If you choose to use the Cite function over here, you can copy and paste it into your Works Cited page. After you copy and paste it, it's the student's responsibility to make sure it pastes correctly into your Works Cited page. Closing the box takes you back to the article. Click back to the results above the title to take you back to the results list. If you want to change your search in any way, you can click the Modify Search in the upper right-hand side above the results. You are now back at the advanced search screen, 
and you can change your search in any way here. Remember, changing the search method to get different results is a very typical research experience, and most students do it to get more relevant results for their paper. This video has shown you how to do a search in ProQuest database using the advanced search screen. If you have any questions about navigating in the ProQuest database, evaluating the articles you find, or narrowing or changing your search methods, contact us at the library.